so today uh, this video is about uh, a coconut tree uh, that has died during the last winter uh, this is the mid part of July and we are in southern part of Texas unfortunately there was a I think there was a zero degree Celsius temperature just for one night or two nights and uh, next day this uh, coconut palm tree just died this happens probably in January uh, early part of January so it was a big plant almost like uh, three I think about four feet tall with uh, very good uh, foliages it was a very healthy plant so I did not expect it to expected it to die suddenly this is the third time a coconut tree has died here uh, in my backyard uh, the first time I think I planted it quite deep so in that type this part has to be above the surface in that case I put it a little bit below the surface that did well in the beginning but as soon as slight winter came even without frost it died uh, second time learned from my mistakes and I did it like half part over so it did survive for four months almost growed, grows from uh, one feet tall as a baby and then it became up to four feet just in one season probably from August till December and after that in January as we said this just died so this time I'm really fond of having a coconut tree in my backyard at any cost so this is the third attempt I'm gonna try now so the I bought this uh, coconut tree I think it came from Florida by shipping and I'm gonna show I did like uh, bought two plants and I am doing two things okay so this is the first experiment here I just put it the same way in the same kind of ground so it's like regular ground as you can see and uh, it's a little bit above the surface maybe about six inch above the surface the whole stuff right and then I put like coconut plant a little bit above the ground and this is out there this was a bit smaller than this one almost like it grows right about like six inch right in front of me in last one week so it's going quite well right now I think plantage was uh, two weeks ago and uh, now it's uh, growing quite well uh, the way I put the ground is actually above the surface and it's a bit sandy ground I still put like lots of sand along with uh, this mulch you know this is the mulch here so I'm hoping that this should grow well because that's how it did last time so apart from frost winter there was no other problem with this plant in the past so I'm hoping this will grow and this is growing quite well right now I put a little bit shade just from one of the uh, one of the broken foldable chair I take it as a shade for it okay so that's the first experiment and I want to compare this one with one other experiment which I'm taking you to the other side of the yard and as you can see this one I'm trying to grow it in a in a more like a container so rather than in the ground I'm doing it as a container okay so this is the container it's just like one of the uh, one of the baskets maybe dollar tree basket uh, that I use it for uh, like you know for uh, clothes I was using in the uh, washer and dryer room after that it broke from one side so then I kept it outside and I uh, the way I did it is just like put some support with this paper so that it's biodegradable and inside this is planting mix and lots of sand if I put it outside here if I want to show you I have a difficult for me to show you but it's like almost 50% of this soil is just sand okay just like the playground sand you can buy any sand but playground sand has probably washed of chemical to not interfere with any root growth and this one is also like above surface this this part the cover part has to be above the surface to get the direct sunlight that's how it has been recommended, you know, after looking at all the tea. Okay, okay, but I'm coming, coming, okay. So, and as you can see, both are actually came at the same time with the same shipping box. And surprisingly, this was a bit smaller than the other one that I just sold. But somehow this one is growing a little bit faster. 
a little bit faster than Papa. that one. So I'm hoping Papa. this is the most uh, right way of doing it when the coconut tree is is uh, huh. Okay, beta. I'm coming. Coming. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, so bottom line looks like this part and why I did it like this so that it can develop all its root and in the frost time I can take it inside you know inside uh, so this is almost like uh, one and a half feet tall now a bit taller than the first one although both came at the same time so I think this is the right way of going the coconut tree at least in southern part of Texas this is a Florida variety and I will try to put the species name somewhere in the description below uh, let's see I have to wait and watch uh, see like which one will survive till next year so I will update the video with uh, one other one just to show the growth just prior to winter and third video will be what happened during the winter and fourth video will be what happened after the winter did I made it and whenever I finally I have to plant it in the ground to make it a big tree but right now that's how I'm doing okay uh, this is the end of the video